Good day everyone, I am Katrina Aline Cordero from BS and 12 Section F and a student nurse from Lava Doctors College. Today I will be performing um, adult cardiopulmonary resuscitation and AED skills. So first I am going to begin with the assessment and activation. So I arrive on the scene and I see that the patient is unconscious. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is to look for my environment or the area and check the surroundings for any hazard. It could be a fire, falling debris, or anything that could um, potentially harm us and the patient. And for personal protection, we need to wear our gloves and pocket mask, um, which, um, uh, which I'll be using later on in performing CPR. And the face mask um, will make sure that um, the CPR is much safer, safer for the rescuer and as it reduces the risk of infection. So after ensuring that the scene is safe, I am going to check the level of victim's consciousness and responsiveness by tapping the patient's shoulder and asking if she is okay. Miss, can you hear me? Miss, can you hear me? Mom, please call 911. We have an emergency here. We have a patient here in who is in need of immediate resuscitation. Hi, this is 911 emergency. How can I help you today? After going that, I am going to turn back to my patient and check the patient's pulse and breathing again. If the patient is wearing constructive clothing, we'll need to loosen it up and we'll have to check the patient's mouth to see if there are um, any obstruction that causes um, um, the block of the airway. And we also need to remove dentures if there are any. So now I am going to check my patient's pulse and breathing. determine that my patient has no pulse and it is not breathing. I am going to proceed to performing culture pulmonary resuscitation. So this is a life um, saving skill that combines the chest compression with artificial restore and um, res um, this is a life saving skill that combines chest compression with artificial ventilation to maintain the brain function until the further measures are done to restore spontaneous blood circulation and breathing of the patient who has gone in cardiac arrest. So now I am going to activate the emergency response system. So in order to do that, we have to call a bystander to call um, 911 immediately. So as you can see, I have already called 911 earlier. Now we will be going to deliver high quality chest compression. First is to locate the chest area of the patient and place the one heel of one hand on the top of the center of the patient's chest. Now interlock fingers and lean over the patient's body and have your elbows lock and straight and then start doing 30 compression and no less than 15 and no more than 80 seconds and in a depth of at least 2 inches. 1,2,3,4,5,6,7,8,9,10,11,12,13,14,15,16,17,18,19,20,21,22,23,24,25,26,27,28,9,30 It is also important to ensure that there is a chest uh, there is a complete chest decoil for each chest compression. After that, immediately deliver two rescue breaths with a body device and each breath is given over one second or there should be visible chest rise um, with each breath. Now, after doing that, we need to continue doing the chest compression in less than 10 seconds and give rescue breaths and immediately powers the AAD when the rescuer arrives to take over. Now, assuming that I am the second responder, I am going to proceed with the AAD skill and I am going to turn it on and turn the AAD on and then quickly scan the patient's chest. Now, I am going to attach the pad. One will go over the right area of the chest, just below the clavicle. And the other one will go, will be placed beneath the patient's armpit, just below um, the nipotine. After putting on the pads, um, the AAD will start analyzing the heart rhythm and it might help us to stop and 
it may tell us to stop doing the compression. After a while, the AED may tell us to stay away from the patient or not touch the patient because it will have to deliver an electric shock. And when that happens, what we're going to do is to safely deliver a shock in 3, 2, 1, shot delivered. Next is to switch roles every 2 minutes or after every 5 cycles. And then after that, practice good dynamics. So that will be all with my return demonstration for um, adult um, cardiopulmonary resuscitation.